Shalom family. Okay, so what I'm doing today is uh, I'm not doing scriptures today. Not no scriptures today, but today I'm doing pure gardening. All right. So what we have here is a garden box that I put together. Um, I found a pallet. I got a pallet from work, and uh, I just took everything apart, recycled the nails, and put and put together a box. All right. So notice. The box, I mean, it's nothing too fancy. It's just, uh, it's just pieces of pallet put together. You can see in the bottom, uh, I drilled holes for the drainage. So you got to make sure whenever you um, make a garden box, you got to make sure there's drainage, or, or otherwise the soil will, will get uh, rotten and it'll start sneaking and all your plants will die. All right. Uh, I just left Home Depot. Um, soil. If you don't already have good soil, then you need to buy soil or make it somehow. The soil that I have here is pretty bad. It's like volcanic ash. So I have to go either make soil or buy it. Alright, so key things to getting good soil is you want to get some of this steer manure. Alright, this only costs a dollar at Home Depot. Alright, so it's pretty much it's poop. Alright, uh, this soil right here is uh, garden soil it's from Kellogg. Uh, that was on the sale for seven dollars today, so I picked that up. That was a good buy. All right. So what you do is you mix them together. So I already mixed, already mixed it up. I pre-mixed it over here. So as you can see, uh, I mixed up the two different soils. I mixed up the manure and I mixed up the soil. It makes more soil and it also fertilizes it. All right. Um, you can also throw some poop in, inside there if you want. I have some rabbit poop that I, I mix in with my uh, soil, but I don't really need it now. All right, so let's get this thing started. Uh, first things first, you're gonna have to put the dirt in. Uh, these pieces here are dividers. So I cut these pieces, they're dividers. They go in the middle here, and they go here. That one's gonna be too small. And they go here. There. I might have to cut that one down some, or just go like that. So pretty much how it works is, so the roots don't mix with each other and harm the plant, you put these dividers in there. So, so whatever you make is going to have good space. Alright, so let's get this thing going. Dirt. Dirt. And you can do this any type of way you want. You know, this is just the way I'm doing it. And this is cheap. You know, this thing cost me anything. Uh, it cost me the dirt altogether cost me eight dollars. Um, the pallet was free. The nails were free. They were already in the pallet. Uh, the electricity I used to cut the wood with my saw. So that's that's pretty much as much as it cost me. So pretty cheap. People today have to learn how to grow their own food, you know, because you know all the uh, all the poisons they have in our food, Monsanto and GMOs. People don't have the first clue of how to grow their own food. If these grocery stores go, what you gonna do? You're gonna starve to death. So all of our people should at least know how to do the basics and just make a garden, put some seeds in the soil, water it, watch it grow. All right. If you turn around right here, you see all these onions I have right here. Those are onions. Uh, that one right there, I bought that two years ago from Food for Less. And we've been cutting them ever since. All right, so it's simple. You know, you don't have to be a genius to grow food. But you gotta be smart though. All right, let's get this thing going. And you gotta figure out what you wanna plant. Here, I think I'm gonna do uh, some type of lettuce uh, or kale or Swiss chard, one of those. Or well, I might just do all of them. So I'll just do all of them. All right. So it's coming together. Coming together good. Alright. 
and then um, I already have seedlings already grown so these are I got some kale right here and I have some uh, cabbage uh, this is purple kale these are the dinosaur kale and these are over here tomatoes and that is Swiss chard right uh oh there we go that's Swiss chard so all these are different plants they're gonna go in each box so this will be a garden box or a veggie box you can call it and then you just grow it and you have your own garden you can take this with you wherever you want to go So, my family, we eat a lot of kale, we eat a lot of onions. So, whatever your family eats the most, that's what you grow. You know, some, some people don't like kale, but we love kale. Some people don't like onions, but I love onions. I don't know about my wife, but I love onions. Alright. It's getting down, it's getting filled up here. Just about there. Ah. All right, that's looking good. All right, that's looking good. All right, what do you think? How's that looking? All right, so post some comments. If anybody have any questions, you know, I'm willing to answer questions. You know, this is this stuff is not too. Uh, not too hard to do. It's, it's pretty simple. Alright, uh, I have some other stuff over here. Let me see. I'll be right back. Hold on. Alright. Um, hand me those, hand me those uh, three little pots right there. Alright, so this, these are better ones I have for, for longer. So this is uh, purple kale. This is going to be the regular kale. This one, this is cabbage. Alright, so we're going to do cabbage. And then the other one we're going to do, do tomatoes. So we're going to do tomatoes, cabbage, kale. Or maybe I'll put a Swiss chard in there. All right, so this is how it works. Take this out. I mean, this is pretty self-explanatory. Squeeze this thing right here. Squeeze it. Never pull it out by the root or by the stem because it'll break and the plant's dead. So, squeeze it like this. Boom. Make the hole for it. And then drop it in. There you go. Put some uh, dirt around it. You got to... Make sure you blend in the dirt with the other dirt. Don't just don't just put it in there. You gotta you gotta blend it in. All right. And make sure it stands up. All right. Good. All right. Now we're gonna do this uh, cabbage here. This is cabbage. This one may be a little harder. Cause it's. Uh, This one's harder, but you get the point. All right, once again, dig the hole for it. Stick it in. Make sure it's standing up, too. Make sure it's standing up. And when you water this thing, I'll show you how to water it. You don't want to drench it. You just want to put a little bit on the root. All right. I'm going to do tomato in this one. I'll do tomato. All right, so this is uh, this tomato. I believe it's a yellow pear. Yellow pears are those uh, yellow pear-looking like tomatoes. Are real good. So this is this. It's gonna be a tomato. And we'll put that in here. Uh -oh. Make sure you blend in the dirt. 
Alright. I think I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a switch chart. Hand me that bag right there. With the switch chart in it. The, yeah, that one. Alright, so this is I grew out of bags too, as you can see. Uh, this is Swiss chart in here, so we're gonna take these out and we're gonna plant them. So I really just need one. I'm gonna grab like three. All right. So these things are very beautiful when they get big, and they're good. This stuff is really good. All right. So this is Swiss chard. As you can see, the purple color, but this actually turns bright red, and it, it looks real nice when they get big. All right, drop that in there. That banana peel. All right, make sure it's standing up. All right. All right. There we go. Now, let's see, I'll put these ones back in. Alright, so I just put these back. So, just put them back, set them back down, plant them inside another box that I make. Alright, so let's get this situated better here. Let's get the dirt in there packed. Not bad for free stuff, right? All right, so now, now I have to do just water. All right, so I already have water here. And when you water it, do not pour the water directly on the plant. So you have to, I use my hand to separate the water. So I'm just go like this. And that's it for now. Same thing with this one. Make sure that's standing up. Key is when you transplant these plants and the roots get and the roots hit the air, they can go into shock and die, so they get all uh, all droopy. So you got to make sure that the roots don't hit the air, and then you got to make sure they stand up straight, and then you got to make sure you water them. All right. So these this the Swiss chard the leaves tend to go into the dirt. But this one is not doing too not, not bad at all. All right, now this is the tomato. All right, and that's pretty much it. All right, that's how you put together a garden box. I'll do another video on how to actually make one and put it together. I gotta get some more pallets though, so I'll get some more pallets. I'll, I'll take them apart. I'll do a video on taking them apart and put them all back together. All right. If there's any questions, you can hit me up. If you like the channel, just subscribe and ask questions. All right. Shalom, family. You guys have a good day and happy gardening.